surge is catching the attention of political figures from across Texas. Texas Land Commissioner George P. Bush was in the valley today to see the issues firsthand. Local 23 Sidney Hernandez sat down with him in an exclusive interview about immigration as well as the oil and gas industry in the future of the Rio Grande Valley's economy. We're a very compassionate nation. We've served people from around the world, but we just can't handle this amount of inflow, and it's dangerous. Uh, to communities. George P. Bush, the Texas Land Commissioner, making it clear the Valley is in need of help following the surge of migrants. The numbers speak for themselves. We're seeing in some instances 20x the amount of influx that we've had in, in prior years. But an increase in immigration isn't his only concern for the Valley. This flood is by far the most uh, disastrous type of natural disaster that we have in Texas. His office taking action. We just announced some awards to Hidalgo County for infrastructure and flood mitigation projects. This afternoon, Commissioner Bush met with Hidalgo County Judge Richard Cortez and other local leaders to discuss the valley's drainage system. And I know that's a big issue for the colonias and for other neighborhoods to get people back on their feet, building homes, but also displacing water. Small businesses also at the top of his list, meeting with several valley business owners. Uh, we also talked about how commerce is a lifeblood for the border economy and how the pandemic and how we come out of that sensibly by encouraging more freedom and more resiliency for entrepreneurs and small business owners in Texas so that we can get businesses moving, people back to work. Now the commissioner plans to head back to Austin with ideas on how to help the Valley in the state capital. Texas has always been a leader for the rest of the country, if not the world, and we're going to find a, a solution to this soon. Putting local first in McAllen, I'm Sydney Hernandez.